So Thomas, on your uh, reprint of the book uh, Sasquatch of Alberta, you made a dedication uh, in that book to Vladimir. Do you care to tell us uh, who Vladimir was? Vladimir Markotic, the late Vladimir Markotic, he passed away in 1997. Uh, was kind of he kind of took me under his wing when I uh, first met him. Uh, he was a professor of uh, archaeology and anthropology at the University of Calgary. And he had a keen interest in the Sasquatch question. And when I first came out west and started my own research into uh, the Sasquatch question in Alberta, naturally putting ads in the paper and stuff, he contacted me because he saw it. And I was thrilled to meet the man because at the time I had not yet met the late John Green or Randy DeHinden or Grover Krantz, but Vladimir had at least two of those gentlemen. And so I, I went and met him and we came for the, for, for the longest time in the beginning, we're talking about the early 1980s and stuff, uh, he, he became my uh, unofficial partner. Basically, he did the academic stuff, and I did the field research for him. Because Vladimir, even back then, was in his early, late 70s, early 80s. He was an old man, Croatian by birth, came to Canada at the end of the Second World War, became a, got his doc doctorate, and became a professor at the, at the University of Calgary, and was there in very high respect for many years. His best contribution to the Sasquatch field was a co-publication between himself and Grover Krantz called Sasquatch and Other Unknown Hominids, which was basically published papers from the 1978 conference at the University of British Columbia that didn't make it into that publication, which was Man Like Monsters on Trial. So Grants and Vladimir got together and decided that the papers that didn't make it into Man Like Monsters on Trial should be published anyway, and they ended up in with the, with the title uh, Sasquatch and Other Unknown Hominids. But uh, Vladimir Markotic, great guy, I miss him a lot, passed away in 1997, and he, basically when I, began, when I began, late 70s, early 80s, he kind of took me under his wing. Okay, so that publication you mentioned, uh, do you know if it's available in print anywhere for anybody that would like to... Uh, Tell you honest truth today, because it was, it was actually put out by Western publishers, the same ones that originally did my first book, and they went under a long time ago. So if you if you're lucky enough to find a copy of Sasquatch and Unknown Hominids, it's a bright yellow book with just a black printing on it, on the cover. Hold on to it because it's almost impossible to find now. So, in your estimation, is Vladimir one of the uh, unsung heroes of early Sasquatch research? Absolutely, absolutely. One of the first academics to take a serious look into this and take it seriously. And he, he actually believed in the creature's existence. Is there anything you'd like to add, Thomas? Vladimir Markotic, professor, archaeology, anthropology, University of Calgary, a great cryptozoologist, a definite pioneer in the Sasquatch field, Long passed away now. I miss him. Thank you, Thomas.